This is a Pixel 6a phone that I bought from eBay. It is running Android 16 at the time of this video. I put my SIM card in and after a couple of minutes I get this message saying it is locked to Xfinity. Let's unlock it. Remove the SIM card, then factory reset the phone. Go to the settings menu. Go to system. Reset options. Then select erase all data factory reset. It's ready to set up. Get started. We're going to skip connecting the phone to the internet. Set up offline. Next. Skip the pin for now. You can set it up later. You can leave these services on. I turned them off. Accept. I accept. Skip. And swipe up. Now let's turn on developer mode. Go to settings. Click about phone. Go down to build number and tap it until it says you are now a developer. Go back, select system, select developer options. Where it says automatic system updates, click to turn it off. Right below that, Look for USB debugging. Click to turn it on. Press OK. Connect your phone to your computer through the USB cable. Pull down the menu from the top. Select charging this device via USB. Tap for more options. Select file transfer Android Auto. Now I can see my phone under this PC in my computer. Pixel 6a. My phone is connected to the computer. Leave it connected. Search Google for platform tools. Click the link with the green robot. Download the Windows version. Accept the terms. And download. It's a zipped file. Drag it onto your desktop. Right click and select extract all. Click extract. Inside is a folder named platform tools. I drag the folder onto my desktop. And then clicked on the folder to open it. You can see all the files right here. Click on the address of the folder at the top. It will turn blue. Type in CMD and press enter. Now a terminal window pops up. Type ADB devices and press enter. It detected one unauthorized device. Go back to your phone and you should get a pop-up to allow USB debugging. Click to allow USB debugging. Go back to the terminal, type ADB devices and press enter. Now it says device, so it is connected to the phone. Here are five lines of code to enter into the terminal. I will put these lines of code in the video description. Enter them one at a time. Copy the first one and paste by pressing Ctrl and V on the keyboard and press Enter.
Here's the second one. Here's the third one. The fourth one. And the last one. After the fifth one, you're done. You can close the terminal window and unplug your phone. Before I insert my SIM card, I'm going to make sure that the device setup app does not connect to the internet. Go to settings, apps, see all apps, click the menu button, select show system, search for device setup. It has a little briefcase icon. Click device setup. Click on storage and cache. Clear cache. Click Wi-Fi data usage. Click to turn off background data. So the goal here is to prevent the app from connecting to the internet. When this app connects to the internet, it can lock the phone again. Here's my SIM card. I have Google Fi for my cell service. If you want to join Google Fi and you want a discount for you and for me, I'll put a referral code in the video description. I've had Google Fi for about eight years now and I'm really happy with it. I joined when it was first called Project Fi in the early years. Is the carrier unlock permanent? No. When you factory reset the phone, it will remove the unlock and you will have to do this all over again. An update can also lock the phone again. When you want to update the phone, you first download the update. When it asks you to reboot the phone, you need to set the phone to airplane mode and keep Wi-Fi off. Then you can restart the phone. When the phone starts again, go into the device setup app and clear the cache and disable background data usage. Then you turn off airplane mode and you're ready to go. And you do it all over again for each update. If this video was helpful, please give it a like, share your comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.